So over the past few years, I've spent a lot of my time creating my own comics. And from all that time I put into creating them, I learned a thing or two about how I can do it better. So today I'm going to give you guys some advice on things I've learned about creating comics and hopefully help you guys out on some things on how to improve your own. And if you're getting started, just some advice I could give you from my own experience. So let's get started anyway. So as you can see here, this is literally all the things I've worked on over the past, uh, I'd say, three or four years now. Uh, there's probably a few more hanging around somewhere but uh, yeah there's a lot a lot of stuff here anyway but uh, obviously when you want to start your own like comic series and stuff or if you just want to make a one-off comic or anything the most important thing which I did when I was starting out and I still do it to this day because it actually helps out a lot is to get a story like sorted out uh, writing it down and stuff and obviously that's how pretty much any comic starts is you want to like start writing stuff out like write out like the characters the descriptions of the characters and stuff and getting that stuff written down will help you out a lot because if you want to like put something in the story you can use that stuff to help you so like say if a, a certain character's got a certain eye color or something like that you can obviously keep that in so you know it's there it's written down you'll remember it and you'll never forget but everything begins with just writing down stuff you know because obviously everything here pretty much nearly everything here not the the beginning stuff but a lot of it did take a lot of writing to do because obviously there's a lot of story here especially this one is all lifeless and yeah there's a lot to it and that's what pretty much this is all about is there's just a lot of writing that goes into it and it can help you out in, in improving stuff and uh yeah it just it just really helps you out and stuff you know uh next uh sort of like tip i want to give you guys it's like tip number two is presentation so when you want to design your comics and stuff the best thing you can do is obviously have a cover that stands out so some of these like old covers so they won't be as good as now because obviously i've changed things up so i'll give you this cover for example which is from a comic i'm currently working on uh this is the second issue as well but the thing about presentation is you want to have a comic cover that kind of uh stands out so everyone can sort of like look at it and go whoa what's happening here and like it adds like like you want to kind of add a little bit of a mystery to your cover as well so like you're not giving away too much but you're kind of living it on sort of like a cliffhanger so when they start reading they'll find out more so you've got this uh you've got the, the characters here which have already been introduced and then you've got some uh, mysterious person holding a, 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 a gun there and uh that's kind of the sort of like element you want to kind of go for but you can use any sort of element you want just like something that stands out pops out and catches uh someone's eye is the best thing you can do but this is what I chose to do with one of these, and uh, there's loads of different ways you can actually do the, the covers of your, of your comic. And the next one I get, want to get into now, which is number three, this is uh, frames, and this is probably the big one, because uh, I'll show you one of the sort of mistakes I made back in the day, and I remember uh, people like telling me about this and stuff, but I did uh, improve on it. Uh, take the first ever Remain Z comic I made back in 2016, which is about three or four years ago now, and... Yeah, we've got this uh, sort of like frame layout. This is how some people do frame layouts, and uh, this is how I used to do it when I started. So you've just got like a, a standard uh, eight box on each page. So it's literally just square, like laid out and stuff. But the thing with frames is you want to kind of keep it custom and uh, go off of like different sizes and stuff. So here's one I, I did uh, a while back, or I could show you like the inside. And each one's got like a different size and stuff to sort of uh, show like what kind of... Um, like what's going on and stuff like that but what kind of frames you want to use is uh if you want like a close-up so you want to show someone's like facial expression anything like that go for like a sort of, like small uh it's sort of, sort of, like a small box like this and if you want to show like an environment or an area off you go for like a massive box that's about or frame that's about the size of like these four put together and that's kind of how frames work so frames are kind of like depending on what you want to show off so if you want to show off a load of characters all lined up you have one going all the way across if you want to like just show like someone's eye or someone it's like emotion in someone's face go for a, like a small close-up of their it's like a like a close-up shot of them that's kind of what you want to do but there is loads of different things you can try out like you don't have to always like copy stuff in that. and uh, having some catchy words in there as well like obviously when things are happening it's a really good idea so yeah so there's just another look at some sort of stuff you can check out if you want to see some uh frames like ideas so you've got you've got the rocks coming over here you've got the character obviously freaking out there and the, the small like close-up shot 
Then we got this medium one where you just see like one of the characters like reacting. And then we got another one as well. I would have probably made this one a lot bigger if I was to do it now because it is one of those like impactful scenes. But here's an example here with the emotion uh, with the eye where you've got uh, the character reacting and you see like tears and stuff. And that's kind of what you want to do. And uh, the lining up as well there with the, the bottom one. You can see that the character's all lined up. That's kind of how you want to do your frames. But you can do frames however you want. That's just how I do them if you really want to uh, go for that style, uh, I'd say. And that's where we'll get into number four, which is art style. So when you want to do a comic series, um, it does take a lot of time to do. Uh, obviously, we're illustrating like loads and loads of different like pieces of art and stuff. Like obviously, like like the cover itself, and then you're going into like doing all of this uh, artwork and stuff like that. It does take a lot of time, and the art style is kind of what you want to sort of um, I'd say focus as well. Because if you're using a really detailed art style you're going to be working on this comic for like years but if you want to work in it for years that is completely fine because obviously it's all about but if you go for a simple art style like you don't have to be too simple like i do my own sort of style anyway which is kind of simple and i do like it so you can go for sort of like any style you want but you will be near enough illustrating probably somewhere over a hundred frames per uh issue of like a comic that you make and that is a lot of artwork if you think about it because each frame's a piece of artwork pretty much so uh that's a lot of artwork so if you want to work at like a efficient rate and stuff you kind of want to like i'd say like for the covers keep the covers as detailed as you want but for the actual artwork on the frames and stuff you kind of want to um so like go down a bit so if you have characters in the distance like don't put too much detail onto them just put like a just like a few marks and stuff like you don't want to be doing like all like the eye details and stuff like you can just uh just like put some shading on there or something like so you can see them in the background stuff just to save time because obviously you don't need to put too much deal like detail into this because there's a lot of things that people look at and they don't really need to be looking at them all the time so that's just kind of one of the things you know but anyway we'll get on to the next one which is uh physical to digital and this is the stage now say if you are wanting to make comics and you don't want them to just be physical like you want them to actually be made and stuff there is a lot of cool stuff you can do like you can make the artwork digital or you can like scan it in and do it that way like which is pretty easy to do but there's a lot of kill cool websites out there like one i found recently which i'm probably going to be using in the future is uh one called uh i think it's called like uh kindle direct publishing which is by amazon it's pretty easy to use it's a a good sort of site for if you want to get started with like books or comics and stuff and you can sort of like get their templates off there and then you can make your own like artwork and stuff and put it on there and it gets published it gets made and it can be sold anywhere in the world uh that amazon obviously like ships to and stuff and it's a very cool website easy to use and uh yeah it's kindle kindle direct publishing obviously you can put it on kindle as well if you want to do a digital version which is awesome as well and yeah we'll get to the last step as well now and this is no rush so i just called it no rush by the way and what i mean by no rush is obviously don't rush because uh there's a lot that goes into a comic and i spend about a month on each one so this one took me about i'd say three three weeks it didn't take me quite as long as the other ones did but i usually used to spend a month like working on each comic that i did make and uh, obviously these were made years ago but i spent about a month on each one because the thing is uh the only deadline really for your comic is the one that you set like if you want to make a comic and have it finished in a month that's okay you can go for that goal if you really want to but realistically there doesn't need to really be any kind of deadline other than say if you really do need to get it out and it's like something really important that it's needed for but you can take your time with your comics and stuff like i know there's a lot of people that stress out over like uh speed and like effi being efficient at making comics and stuff and i sometimes like get kind of like art block and i can't do any artwork anymore for like a little bit and that's okay because everyone goes through that sort of thing like everyone's obviously human and we're not robots and stuff and it does take a lot of time to obviously make artwork and i just advise you guys that it is okay um uh, you can spend as long as you want like i'm working on a comic now which is probably going to take like two to three months to finish because of how much uh detail i'm trying to put into this next one but yeah it, it's cool you can obviously just take as much time as you want and obviously the end result is worth it like from all the time you put in it's always worth it it's cool to actually like have this now like say this one for example because this is finished this took me about a month to do but the time i put into it to the finished version now it's awesome and it is definitely worth it so 
other than that guys i hope you guys have enjoyed some advice from me today on how to get started making comics and stuff these are just a few tips that i've used and i still use today because obviously i do a lot of art and i'm learning every day so there's always stuff that's kind of like popping in and i want to share with you guys so thank you so much for watching this video if it has helped you any any way or gave you some like cool ideas or if any of this artwork looks cool and you want to like sort of you're inspired to draw things like it then be sure to leave a like subscribe if you need to channel for more comics and art videos like this one and other than this guys i will see you in the next one thank you for watching <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,